Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tank's Cooks. All right, let's go. Once again, another episode of Tank's Cooks. We're gonna be doing something a little different this time. We're using the air fryer again, and we're gonna be making a uh, Cornish game hen. Yes, a Cornish game hen. Kind of looks like a, a a runt chicken or a pigeon or maybe a a pork. Something that Chewbacca was about to eat before he that damn bird looked at him and damn. Well, we're gonna be cooking it in the air fryer. So let's open up the package. It's these things only weigh about two pounds exactly. You might be asking yourself, what is a Cornish game hen? You know, Alexa, what is a Cornish game hen? Cornish game hen is a USDA approved for a particular variety of broiler chicken produced from across. Of course, this thing doesn't want to open. Chicken breeds that is served young and immature, weighing no more than two pounds, ready to cook. Let's see. Rinse the ding off, rinse it off. It's all you guys are. Oh, he's talking about this guy, Salmonella. I think I used to know a Salmonella. All right, so we're gonna let this rinse. We're gonna pat it. We just ran it to the washer, to the uh, faucet. We're gonna pat this dry just a little bit. Pat it dry. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat it dry. So while it dries, just a little bit more, we're gonna make a little bit of a Spice combo, spice combo, spice combo. And the spice combo, of course, well, you know what's gonna go in the spice combo. The MVP accent. La 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 accent. We're gonna put some lemon pepper in there, naturally. A little bit of lemon pepper, whoops. Don't want that much lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Garlic. Garlic. Some salt. Some pepper. Some of this other salt, pepper, onion, garlic combo. A little bit of paprika. Paprika, paprika, we're gonna put some paprika. And some chicken rub. Chicken rub. Okay, now we're gonna scoop it up and mix it all together. Mix it up. Mixing it up the bowl, mixing up, up, up. Mix it up good, mix it up well, mix it up. Yes, that's right, we're gonna mix it up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some uh, olive oil, pour that in a bowl. La 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 la. Yes, indeed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the hen, let it roll around in the olive oil, olive oil. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the olive oil. Fill it up good. And by the way, we are preheating our air fryer to 375. All righty. Now what we're going to do is now that we've let it roll around the olive oil, we're gonna take our spices and we're gonna let it roll around the spices. Yay, we're gonna be spiced up, spiced up, wee. Rolling it through the spices, rolling it through the spices. Don't wanna be the mices as we go rolling it through the spices, rolling it through the spices. It's quite nice. Roll it through the spices, 
Don't gonna do the traces. And take our last bit of it and even toss some over into the cavity. And there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the air fryer at 375. We're gonna put it right in here and right here in the air fryer. Now we're gonna put it down. We're gonna roast it breast side down. Now for the first 10 minutes at 375. All right, look at this. We've gone through the first 10 minutes of cooking. And now we're gonna to have to turn the bird around. After cooking 10 minutes breast down, you know what that means. Time to turn the bird around. Cook on the other side now. Turn the bird around. Take the bird and now flip it. There, see, it's flipped. The bird has been flipped. I flipped the bird! All right, so we're gonna be looking for a temperature of 165 once it's done, but this is clearly not done, so we're gonna put it in for another 10 minutes at 375. All right, we've been cooking for 20 total minutes. Now we have to see what our temperature is, because we need the hen to reach 165 degrees. Alright, um, not quite 165. Okay, let's cook this another two minutes. Alright, it's cooked for another uh, three minutes actually. We're going to give it a little test here, see what our internal temperature is. Wow, what I didn't, that went back, ah, oh, there we go, here we go. All right, perfect. Now, we're gonna let this sit and rest. Meantime, we're gonna make our uh, side dishes. We're gonna make some stovetop stuffing and some green beans. All right, we got a little Cornish game hen here. Here it is. So we'll cut little pieces off here. Cutting the pieces. Cutting the pieces. Yes, indeed. We'll put it on our plate because it's time to plate the meal. 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 Yes, indeed. All right, we'll put this up on our plate and get ready to put our side dishes on. We'll add a, we'll add some green beans. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate that meal. We'll get some stuffing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? And of course, some great. And a little bit of salt. Here we go. All right, there we go. Cornish game, game hen. There we go. So we're gonna see how this actually came out. Let's take a nice little bite of the Cornish game hen. It does taste like chicken. 
Hmm. Manja, manja. Bon appetit. Let's eat. And if you want to have another recipe sent to me, send it to njtank99 at gmail.com.